Welcome back to Dave's Garage. Today we're going to be doing something a little different and we're outside and we're going to take a look at a uh, kind of a special uh, bird feeder that's a smart bird feeder. It has motion detect, it has Wi-Fi uh, connectivity to the, uh, the network and it sends us uh, pictures, stills and also uh, video. The most recent um, add-on now is it, it, it uh, will send us some video, a couple of minutes of video at a time. The uh, biggest challenge of bird feeders are trying to keep squirrels off the bird feeder. In my case here, I've kind of gone to great lengths trying to um, figure out ways to keep uh, squirrels from the ground and also jumping off this tree. So I'll take a take a just an inventory here of what I've got the bird buddy bird feeder is uh, the camera the Wi-Fi and I've had to come up with something to keep the birds off the ground which has been a uh, five foot high six inch diameter galvanized duct and then with a cap and on the cap here I've had to uh, drill a hole and this three-quarter inch galvanized pipe is in the ground uh, about a foot and then I've got five feet of this you know three-quarter inch pipe um, protruding out of the five-foot duct that's just sitting on the ground uh, an add-on is I've got power coming out to the uh, out to the duct from the basement and I apologize here I've got another airplane going overhead challenge today is to find some quiet time to get this video created um, then I've got some more three-quarter inch pipe coming up overhead this is a glass squirrel baffle and it's got an interesting feature where it's not actually held rigid so when the squirrels jump on it it deflects and that has actually turned out to be quite an interesting feature I've, I've cut the tree way back and you know try to keep several feet here but I've had a real problem with squirrels jumping from the tree down to here you know, I, I call them kamikaze jumping squirrels because they come flying down here and most of the time they don't stick the landing so they come boomeranging or sh you know ricocheting off this thing down to the ground but it it doesn't stop them from keep trying so this is kind of work in progress but right now this um it's real glass this baffle has been working to keep squirrels from jumping off here in fact i've got at least one or two squirrels up there in the tree right now paying attention to me because i'm doing something out here so um yeah that's what i'm doing it's work in progress but um all the the three quarter inch pipe the duct the cap and the T's and the, the, you know, the elbows and these little, you know, shorter pieces of threaded pipe. This is all just right off the shelf at uh, Home Depot, you know, or any other big box store. Now this actually came with a um, solar roof. In fact, you can see it up there. This is the, the Bird Buddy with the solar roof, but we have so many gray days here. It does not keep the camera active. So getting back on the uh, on the cable, um, starting in my basement, I have a um, down in that's my bay window, but underneath there, I just have a, a cable going inside the house in, you know, into the basement, and it has a um, a little five volt one amp uh, power supply, you know, just uh, plugs into an outlet that goes inside of a um, into a flexible conduit to give this small cable some um, some security you know underground I, I bring the cable under here you can't really tell but I, I buried it under here it comes up inside the five foot duct comes up to the very top and I've got it some zip ties up here on the on the pipe to hold it from there I have a couple of pigtails oh there's my squirrel buddy again look at that there he is yes we're talking about you you want more peanuts, don't you? I try to feed the squirrels peanuts so they'll leave my feeders alone. But uh, anyways, the cables come up inside, gets tie wrapped to here. Now I got a couple short pigtails. And this is all five and a half or 5.5 .5 millimeter um, power cables. 
So all you have is just power and ground. You know, coming up in here, I had to do a little bit of soldering to, to, to go to this, what they call a panel mount connector. And then this is just a jumper. This just plugs in. This is my 5.5 millimeter power cable. It just plugs in. And it comes up to here. Again, another panel mount connector. Uh, my 5.5 uh, power connector is here. This is a 12 inch um, purchased on Amazon, just a 12 inch jumper. And from here, I got another, um, another little connection. I can just take the back of the bird, bird buddy off. And the USB-C is now soldered to the pigtail of this uh, panel mounted connector. And that's all it is. I mean, it's just simply power to get power out here. And the gray days and the rainy days, this, this was running out of battery about every other day. It's a real complaint about, uh, you know, the, the bird buddy and how the, the, uh, the power just runs out in the battery. Then you have to take the bet, you know, the, the camera in the house, you know, to charge it up, bring it back out. Well, I chose not to do that. So this power connection here inside to the house is 24 seven. I just have it turned on and left on. And it keeps the uh, bird buddy at about 90%, 95% on warmer days. As the temperature goes down outside here, this is maintained at a, a lesser percentage, like 80% when it, you're getting down near zero. So there is some kind of a sliding scale because charging lithium batteries in uh, below freezing temperatures is a big no-no. It, it destroys the battery. So let's, um, let's go down into the, um, into the top secret underground uh, Dave's workshop, otherwise known as my junk corner in my basement. And I'll show you some specifics on the electronics, or actually that's the wrong word, just the, the power cabling that I've used for this. It was a fun project, so I'll show you some specifics here next. So here we are down in uh, my top secret underground lab, uh, otherwise known as my junk corner of my basement. And outside there it was really kind of loud with a lot of distractions, so it's, it was hard to record. I hope I didn't... Uh, make too much of a mess of that but the idea up there was to show you the duct and the cap and then the three-quarter inch pipe that just gets pounded into the ground and with that five-foot duct that prevents squirrels getting on the feeder from the from the ground from overhead I had squirrels jumping down onto the feeder so I came up with that uh, three-quarter inch pipe that went out and around and back up over the feeder and that still didn't stop them. Of course, they just jumped onto the pipe. So then I went with that glass baffle. It's not very big, but because it's not rigid, when they jump on it, it gives. It starts to move, and then they, they, the squirrels think that, you know, they're on unfirm territory, or unfirm ground, and then they just ricochet off onto the ground. Um, wish me luck, because I, I don't know if that's going to keep working. Our, our squirrels around here are. are Pretty darn smart when it comes to defeating basically everything that I've come up with as far as a squirrel deterrent they have defeated I mean I even went so much as to put uh, metal all the way around the trunk of the tree so they just got onto the house from a different tree and then jumped from the, the house onto the bird feeder tree and came down and, and ate everything in the feeders anyway so this has been a multi-year um, you know, 20 attempts to, to keep squirrels out of the feeders, and pretty much everyone's failed. So the bird buddy is uh, vulnerable to squirrel damage. They have uh, the whole thing's plastic, and there's uh, you know there's like squirrel uh, or a bird buddy community uh, pages on Facebook, and unfortunately a lot of a lot of um, a lot of owners. Of the bird buddies have have shown where there's just a lot of damage uh, the, the cables are chewed up the plastics chewed up basically squirrels will stop at nothing to um to, to get at a free meal so we went over a lot of the hardware outside and i'm going to go over the electrical side here and we're going to start at the other end of the cable where i've got a um actually it's a very small um what I call wall wart or power supply. It's a five volt supply 
one amp only. You don't need a lot of power for this thing. And th this is going to be the equivalent of what you would get from a um, USB-A uh, source. Uh, the Bird Buddy has a USB-C, you know, a lot more modern version. And that has a, a multi different voltage approach to it where it negotiates between the power supply and the feeder you know as to what voltage it's going to rise to and basically charge faster so this is kind of like old school five volts one amp and it, it comes up here to it's a round connector just round it's a 5.5 uh, millimeter diameter um, outside diameter uh, just connector then I've got like a 30 foot piece of an extension. The, the, you can make a long run from these 5.5 volt or 5.5 millimeter diameter cables. You know, just power. It's just power and ground. <clears throat> you can make a long run with them. So I have the cable going inside of this wire loom um, to help protect the cable. And then I thought, you know what, if I go outside at a longer length here and bury it which I did out in the yard I'm gonna want even more protection so this is what I went with it's actually a flexible conduit I think it's three-quarter inch no no I think it's actually half inch these, these flexible conduits are like oversized so I think this is only half inch flexible conduit but I got like a 20 foot piece of this thing so it starts here, I've just got it going up along the, the basement ceiling, and it goes over underneath a um, uh, my uh, bay window, and then it goes underground, I just have it go straight underground, and then you can see my bird feeder from in here. Um, it's not that much distance from here, but it's, it's 20 feet worth of cable. Well, 5 feet is up inside the, the duct, but... You know, from here, from here, it's like about 30 feet, which I wasted six or seven feet of it right here. But it goes up and then out. You'll have to make adjustments depending on where your feeder's at. So underground comes up inside of the duct. And then I already explained some of the jumper and all the 5.5 uh, millimeter uh, connectors and, and uh, panel mount, you know, panel connectors and stuff that I used out there little bit of soldering is required inside the duct for a couple pigtails and then inside the bird feeder for uh, again to to uh, there's a bird out there on the feeder right now it's a bluebird I've been getting a lot of bluebirds there's another uh, little bit of jumpering or uh, two pigtails you have to solder inside the uh, the bird feeder itself so coming over here to the the specifics all this was built or um, it was built here, but I bought all the components on Amazon. So once you come to the end of the, the 20 foot extension, 5.5 millimeter power connector inside the, um, the duct, you need one of these, which goes between the 5.5 millimeter um, female to just a, um, it's a pigtail. Pigtails are just, you know, connector on one end, wires on the other. And then this is the panel mount um, pigtail that's used on the duct and on the bird feeder. Again, all you have is just power and ground. So you just have to solder these two wires together. And of course, I, I, I have a lot of stuff here to play with. So I use the appropriate uh, shrink tubing that you put over these, these contacts and stuff once they're soldered for protection. And then on top of that, I think I actually... Uh, did some you know some black electrical tape so then this you know you're now in your mind hopefully you can you can think of this being uh, what is shown coming out of the duct now you need the jumper so the jumper this is a, another one I bought five of these the jumper goes from the duct up to the uh, bird buddy and then from the bird buddy you go I had to drill a hole in the in the blue plastic you go to another panel mount it's just another one of these pigtail and then you have another solder job that go to the USB-C connector which is another pigtail so these get you know again soldered together and using the the, the uh, heat shrink tubing and then some electrical tape to kind of just 
pretty it all up. And that's all there is to it. Um, below this video, I'll have the uh, part numbers and the, um, the links. The source is um, mostly Amazon for all this electrical parts. But this is some pretty common stuff. All this 5.5 millimeter uh, power connectors, th this is right off the shelf. And the pigtails here are just right off Amazon. And that's all there is to it. Um, what it allows me to do now is to literally just forget about the um, the charging of the bird buddy. It's <clears throat> the wall wart over there is it's turned on 24 7 and the battery in the bird buddy stays charged up and there's no more hassle. We just get so many gray days and so many rainy days that that little solar panel on the uh, bird feeder it, it just can't keep the the camera going you know i get a couple days and it's right down to like six percent and everything turns off and i gotta go out there and we've had some serious cold weather minus six degrees fahrenheit so and that went on for a couple days where the birds were so desperate and i was so fortunate to have this power uh, situation already in place before the cold weather hit so anyways i hope this um I hope this sparks some motivation, both from squirrel protection and, you know, continuous power going to the to the feeder. So really, all you have to worry about is feeding the birds, and it, it's been kind of fun. I mean, this is something that uh, I had no idea was going to be this much fun. But the variety of birds here are quite extensive, and a lot of them are just really fun to, to watch, especially up close in front of a, a in front of a camera that's only six inches away so anyways and enjoy your your bird feeding and but bird buddy and you know have fun with the with the coming up to be um, you know coming up with some creative activities with um, with uh, critter management and, and power generation so anyways have a good day